Illuminated by firelight, a spiritual dance begins. Within the blaze burns a courage tempered by battle. In this conflagration, bonds between warriors are forged. They crystallize together into the pillars of today. Pillars with the strength to slay demons. Even so, the fires of conflict rage on, demons against humans. Within the blaze burns a courage tempered by battle. Within the blaze burns a young man's determination. Too slow! <laughs> Sabito's movements are so calculated. If I don't focus, he'll just keep deflecting. Tanjiro Kamado. You were once so pitiful, but look at you now. You finally learned proper breathing techniques. You've swung your sword thousands of times even as your arms were screaming in pain. No matter how many times I knocked you down, you got back up and challenged me again. That shows true strength. The fact that I am facing you with a real sword this time proves it! We finish this tonight. Summon every ounce of determination you can muster. I won't be holding back. Neither should you. Now come! There! Too slow! You lack resolve. Remember what Uro Kodaki taught you! Move your legs. Don't stop now! If you call yourself a man, then do it! Unless you plan to lie down and die, there's nowhere else to go but forward! Now get up, grab your sword, and face me again! If you can cut this boulder in two, I'll allow you to enter final selection. <sighs> the boulder... To cut it, I need to defeat Sabito. But no matter how many times we fight, Why? Where did I go wrong? How did things turn out this way? I was just living my life, day by day. Doing honest work with my family. We were poor. But we had a nice meal in town once in a while. We... were so happy. Whenever happiness is destroyed, you'll find the smell of blood in the air. That awful day. The one night I didn't come home. Mom, my siblings, they all died. They were attacked by a demon, and that was it. It must have been painful. You suffered, didn't you? I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. I... I'm sorry. But you're suffering too, aren't you, Tanjiro? Get up. You don't need to suffer alone. I'm here too. Together. You and I can overcome this sadness. Don't you think? That's right. I can't forget 
that we still have each other. Nesuko. That night, your humanity was torn away from you. But you still managed to hold on to one important thing. Your own life. Sabito's right. Go forward. There's nowhere else to go! I'll find a way to make Nezuko human again! I'll avenge my whole family! I made my decision when I picked up the sword! Now! Tanjiro! Finally, you've grown into a real man. If I gave up now, Nezuko would never go back to normal. Besides, Earl Kodaki has done so much for me. And I can't waste Makomo's training! Today's the day. I will defeat you! Let's go! Will it's you time to, to the ground finish this, once again, Tanjiro! Or will you finally come out on top? He's doing it. In that case... Total concentration! Water breathing! Fourth form! Striking time! A tie? Wait. No. Tanjiro is... There! The opening thread! Winning, Tanjiro. You must defeat him. <gasps> the boulder. Where are Sabito and Makomo? Hmm... <laughs> I didn't think you would actually do it. Hmm... <laughs> to be honest, I never had any intention of sending you to final selection. I couldn't bear to see any more children die. I was sure you wouldn't be able to cut through this boulder, but... Well done, my boy. Truly remarkable. I am proud, you know. Make sure you come back alive from final selection. Your sister and I will be waiting for you. Within the blaze burns a young man's determination. And with this in his heart, he walks the path of a demon slayer.
Done. Hmm, looks good. Thanks. Dinner's almost done. Clean up and come eat. Oh, thank you. I I'm sorry, I could have made the food. It's nothing. It's the least I could do. <sighs> thank you for the meal. The time has come. Right. Final selection is at Mount Fujikasane. I've been there a few times, but it's a very strange place. How so? It is something you'll have to see for yourself. I'm sure it'll surprise you, too. I see. What's this? It is called a warding mask. It is enchanted with a protection spell to keep you from harm. Take it with you. Got it. Thank you. This is all that I can do for you now. The rest is up to you, Tanjiro. Make sure you are well rested. I still don't know why Tomioka didn't slay Nezuko, or why he told me about her Okodaki. But it's thanks to him that we're here now. If I join the Demon Slayer Corps, I'm bound to learn more about demons. Either way, it seems like my best shot at figuring out how to turn Nezuko back into a human. But to do that, first I have to pass final selection. Nezuko. She's been sleeping since we got to Earl Kodaki's place. The doctor didn't find anything wrong with her, but it's not normal for her to be asleep this long. I'm worried she'll just never wake up. You're gonna be okay. Right, Nezuko? I'm going to go out for a bit, but I'll be back soon, alright? Be a good girl now. Don't worry about your sister. I'll take good care of her for you. Thanks. For everything. You have a keen nose like me, Tanjiro. Perhaps it will be the key to your survival during final selection. My nose? You must sharpen your sense of smell and sniff out the dangers around you. I know you can do it. Just be sure to come back alive. Right! Guess I'm off. See you later. Say hi to Sabito and Makomo. Tanjiro, that's impossible. How do you know the names of the dead? So this is Mount Fujikasane. Wisteria? It's all over the place. I thought it was out of season.
So many people. Good evening. Tonight you've come to enter the Demon Slayer Corps' final selection. Thank you all for being here. Here on Mount Fujikasane, there are several demons that have been captured by Demon Slayer swordsmen. They're kept here for this event. The Wisteria Blossoms prevent them from escaping. They bloom on this mountain year-round, covering everything from the base to halfway up the top. But the Wisteria ends here. Demons abound from this point on. And they're very hungry. In order to complete final selection, you must survive for seven days beyond the Wisteria's protection. Now, your trial begins. Okay, there are demons waiting from this point on. There are demons lurking here. Don't be afraid. Just keep moving forward. <laughs> Haven't tasted human flesh in forever! Two already. Will I be able to take them on? I did it! I killed demons! I'm getting stronger, I can feel it! So my training wasn't for nothing! I did master it! Rest in peace. Alright, time to move on. Hey, are you okay? What? What the hell was that? Was it a demon? He doesn't look too badly hurt. Some weirdo came out of nowhere and attacked me. He was shouting about something, but I couldn't tell what. He's right. There's a strange smell in the air. It isn't a demon. It smells similar to a human. But also like an... animal? <laughs> what the...? Bullrush! Bullrush! <laughs> what? man with the strange scent is somewhere on this mountain. Gotta stay alert. Uh, another participant? He seems awfully nervous about something. more of that and my heart's gonna pop right out of my mouth! Now he's just getting mad at the wind. It's dark and filled with demons. Just what kind of place is this? Why did I even have to come to this thing? I said I didn't want to. Yeah! I know that sound! There's a demon around here! Oh man, just leave me alone, okay? Get me out of here! I think that was just the wind. There are so many kinds of people here. He's another one of the participants in Final Selection. 
Excuse me. Get the hell out of my face! Oh, okay. <coughs> wow, that was amazing. She fought a demon and came out unscathed. Thank you. You saved me. What's your name? Huh? What? What? What a strange girl. It's one of my sweet little fox cubs. It's humongous. Say, fox cub, what year of the Meiji era is it? Huh? It's the Taisho period. Taisho? <gasps> Already? We have passed into a new period? And still, I'm stuck inside this Wisteria prison! Ah, unforgivable! Unforgivable! Damn you, Urukodaki! Damn you, damn you, damn you! There! Not good enough! I'll devour you! Jiro! Tanjiro! <laughs> What's this? He can still move? <sighs> I heard... Shigeru's voice. If I didn't, it surely would have been the end of me. Thank you. Shigeru, I won't be helpless again. <laughs> Struggling won't do you any good. His body's getting bigger. <sighs> Calm down. Relax. Stay strong. Focus on your breathing. How did he know? No matter. He won't be able to dodge an attack. Mid-air! <laughs> he deflected it! Total concentration! Water breathing! Uh, not to worry. My neck is tough. He can't cut through it! First form! <laughs> Slayer's the last thing I'm ever going to see! What a sad scent. Please, God, help him. The next time this man is reborn, please don't let him turn into a demon again.
Sabito, Makoma, and all others whose lives were taken by this demon. It's over. You can rest now. Finally, you're going home as promised. Back to Mount Sagiri, if only as souls. You're going back to Urokodaki. Only four of us? We started with over twenty. I'm gonna die. I'm done for. I've survived for now, but soon enough, dead. Welcome back, everyone. And congratulations. We are pleased to see you're safe. So? I made it back alive. What do I do now? Where's my sword? Patience. We must first issue you all uniforms. We will first take your measurements, and then you will be imprinted with your rank. There are ten ranks in all. From Kinoe to Mizunoto. You all start at Mizunoto. This is the lowest rank in the Demon Slayer Corps. And our swords? In a moment, you will be given the chance to select the ore that will be used to forge your swords. Your weapons will be ready for you 10 to 15 days later. But first... Now that you're Demon Slayers, you must each be assigned your own Kasugai Crow. The Kasugai crows are primarily used to facilitate communication. Wait, crows? Isn't this a sparrow? Who the hell cares about some stupid crow? I want my sword right now. Give it to me before I get angry. The color changing katana. I want it now, do you hear me? Stop that! Take your hands off her, or I'll break your arm. No! Huh? Who the hell are you? Give it your best shot! You little... Are you finished chatting with each other? Now, the time has come. Please select an ore to use for your sword. <sighs> The steel you will use to protect yourself, and to annihilate countless demons, will be that of your own choosing. I'm gonna be dead soon anyway, probably. They want us to choose, but how are we supposed to know which one to pick? I don't have a damn clue. Really? Five of them were able to survive. That's excellent. The number of my children continues to grow. What kinds of swordsmen will they be? Just when I thought I could finally go back, my body is aching. The fatigue is hitting me all at once. N Nezuko, Rokodaki. Nezuko, it's you. You're awake! Uh. 
Nezuko! Nezuko! Why'd you do that? Why'd you have to sleep for so long? I thought you were never gonna wake up! I was afraid that you were gonna die! You're here. You came back alive. Hi there. My name is Haganezka. I forged Tanjiro Komodo's sword. I am here to deliver it. Oh! I'm Tanjiro Komodo. Come in. In here is a Nichirin sword. I forged it myself. Um, do you want to come in? Have some... The materials for this kind of sword only come from the mountain closest to the sun. Made of scarlet iron sand and scarlet ore. Hey, um, you're welcome to... Unique. They produce steel that can absorb sunlight. Wow, really? Please, come in. You see, Mount Yoko is bathed in sunlight all day. Never a cloud in the sky. No rain means the sunlight can be absorbed without any impurities. Whoa! A clown mask? Did he even hear me? The man still refuses to listen to a word anyone else says. You're a child of brightness, aren't you? Well, isn't that lucky? Uh, my parents' names were Tanjiro and Kie. That's not what I mean. You know how your hair and eyes have a reddish hue to them. When a family that works with fire has a child like you, it's considered lucky. A cause for celebration. Is it really? I had no idea. That means there's a good chance this sword will turn red. Right, Jurokodaki? Yes. Come on, draw it already. Nichirin swords are also referred to as color-changing katanas. Their color shifts depending on the bearer. Black? That's interesting. Why? Does it mean something bad? Is it unlucky? No, no. It's just something you don't see very often. It's pitch black. I was really hoping I'd get to see a sword turn bright red! <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Hey, let go! Stop, please! Ow! How old are you anyway? I'm 37! Oh, damn it! Why? Ah, hey! Please just calm down! Oh. Anjiro Kamado, I bring you orders! You must go to a town northwest of here! It can talk? This is your first assignment as a member of the Demon Slayer Corps! Prepare yourself well! Wait a second, did it say assignment? In that town to the northwest, young girls are disappearing! 
Night after night, at least one of them vanishes. This is the Demon Slayer uniform I was provided. It's a perfect fit. Okay, then. That uniform is made with a special kind of fiber. It's lightweight, water-resistant, non-flammable. A low-level demon's fangs and talons are incapable of penetrating that fabric. What's that? You plan on traveling with Nezuko, correct? But demons perish when exposed to sunlight. That's why I'm gifting you this box, to carry her during the day. It's built from a very light wood called Cloudy Cedar. It's been coated in rock lacquer to reinforce the exterior and make it more durable enough to withstand some abuse. Oh. Thanks, Orokodaki. By the way, Tanjiro. Yes? Since you're starting out as a demon slayer, there are some things I would like to explain. You should know, there are different kinds of demons. Some demons use a special spell called a Blood Demon Art to give them abilities. You may end up having to face some of them in the near future as well. And fighting against supernatural abilities will be more difficult than anything you've done. However, if you defeat demons and locate their source, you could find the one who turned Nezuko into a demon one day. <sighs> There's only one demon in the entire world that has the kind of blood that can turn a human. Just one. That's it. The first demon there ever was. He's been here for more than a thousand years. He's your target, the one who attacked your family. More importantly, I believe he's also the only one who might know how to turn your sister back into a human. <clears throat> that demon's name is... Muzan Kibutsuji. Muzan Kibutsuji. Since he's the only one who can turn humans into demons, that means... He turned Nezuko. Once someone becomes a demon, they'll attack others indiscriminately, even their own family. They can't resist the urge to satiate their hunger with common sense alone. That's what it means to be a demon. At least, that was what I thought. Until I met Nezuko. There's no question that Nezuko is a demon. But in spite of that, she's never devoured a human. Nezuko was lying on top of our brother like a shield, protecting him. She hasn't eaten anyone. I've encountered many demons in my lifetime, but never once have I heard of anything like that. The question is, how does she maintain this state? This is only a guess. But I believe Nezuko can recover her strength by sleeping, instead of consuming human flesh as other demons do. sleeping to recover her strength. Again, this is only a guess. I could be wrong. Since you were the only one at her side, you must continue to observe her. Understand? And one more thing. I don't know if this will be of any comfort or not, but while Nezuko was asleep, I used hypnotic suggestion on her. All humans are your family. Protect your family. The demons are your enemies. If a demon harms a human, never forgive them. That's what I told her. Tanjiro, I understand that you want to protect your sister, but you must keep in mind. 
Nezuko is a demon now. She's not a delicate flower who needs your protection. Regardless, this will be your first real mission, where you'll face a demon alone. I hope you both return safe and sound, though I'm sure you'll be fine. Yes, sir. Well, here we are. Nothing seems out of the ordinary, but I am picking up a peculiar scent. It's faint, but unpleasant. Let's take a look around. <laughs> oh, there's Kazumi. Poor thing. He doesn't look good. Well, he was right next to Sadako when she was taken. Taken? That person knows one of the victims. Mr. Kazumi! I want to hear what happened last night. From you. This is where Satoko vanished. But I'm sure you don't believe me. I do believe you. I'm here to help. Now let's see. There's still a faint scent of the demon here. But it's uneven. Something's off. Who is this kid anyway? There's definitely a demon lurking in this town. But I need to find out more. Not much time left until sunset. I need to gather more information and track them down before night falls. Oh no, it's nighttime already. I can smell the demon scent, but only slightly. The smells are all blending together. It's awful. This has to be the kidnapper. I should sort out the information I have so far. Focus. I just need to follow this scent. There's no mistaking this smell. This is it. They're right here. I don't see them. Although... The scent is strongest, right? Here! <laughs> I get it now! This demon... can hide himself underground! Wh what the hell is that? What did you do with the girls you kidnapped? <laughs> He's behind all this? <laughs> this scent! I knew there was another one! From the wall, too? Tell me, why in the world would a demon travel with a mere human? Nezuko, can you handle this? <clears throat> they all have the exact same scent. Which means one demon has split into three! Bastard! She'll go stale! Move out of the way, you little punk! The girl's 16 already! She's losing flavor by the second! If I don't eat her soon, there won't be any left at all! Take a breath, other me. Calm down. I've already satisfied myself feasting on these town girls. Every one of them juicy and delicious. Well, I'm not satisfied at all, other me! I want to devour all of them! <clears throat> 
I need your help. Hold her for me and stay close. Uh, huh? Uh, all right. You monster! Bring Satoko back! The girl you took the other night! Satoko? Which one was that? If her hairpin is in this collection, then I'm afraid I've already eaten her. Sorry. That's... Satoko's... You... You killed... How cruel! That woman is mine! And her over! Where did the other two go? Underneath? It's dragging me under! <laughs> Nezuko! I'm going in! Keep them safe for me! <laughs> Keep them safe! She can damn well try! But that woman is mine! I'll devour her whole! <laughs> I'm gonna drill a hole right through your face! Whirlpool! <laughs> Hands off my sister! What do you know about Muzan Kibutsuji? Tell me! <laughs> I, I can't tell you. I just can't. You mustn't tell a soul. No one can know anything about me, understand? Don't forget, I'm always watching you. So if you tell anyone, I will know about it. I can't! I can't! I can't! I can't! I can't! I can't tell you all right! <laughs> yeah! You smell horrible. You give off a scent like rotten oil. I know where it comes from. Tell me, how many people have you killed? I failed to get any information. Nazuko! She's fast asleep. Probably to heal her wounds. I failed. I'm sorry. But just hang on. I promise you this. I will make you human again! Mr. Kazumi? Are you alright? I lost my fiance. How could I be all right? Mr. Kazumi, you have to go on. No matter what. In spite of losing people. Even though it's devastating. How am I supposed to do that? You're just a kid. What do you know? <sighs> I'll be on my way now. Here. <gasps> Hopefully, you'll find something of Miss Satoko's in here. <gasps> You've been through this yourself. 
Haven't you? I... I'm sorry! I shouldn't have said that! Please forgive me! I'm so sorry! His hands are heartbreaking. Hardened and thick from training. They're not the hands of a boy. Mr. Kazumi never should have crossed paths with demons. He should have lived a quiet, peaceful life. But all of that crumbled into pieces in an instant. I'm not alone. How many people have you killed? Tortured? Tormented? Musanki Butsuchi. I swear. I'll make you pay. I swear! Yes. It may be hard on him to go so soon after his previous mission. But there are rumors of a demon in the area. I'd like him to investigate. There's also this faint feeling I have in my chest. I'd like him to find out what it is. Ah! I'm counting on you. I hope Mr. Kazumi can get back on his feet after what happened. I hope all those families can. I'm still not any closer to turning Nezuko back into a human. Uh -huh. You must head to Asakusa, Tokyo now! Rumor has it, a demon's lurking there! Ah! I've got another mission already? Yes, you do! Now go! Would you at least give me a minute? No time! Move it! Oh, man... So this is a Sakusa! Incredible! And overwhelming! This is making me dizzy. Um, let's go over there, Nezuko. <sighs> I've never been to a place like this before. It's way too crowded. <sighs> that scent... Why is it here? And why now? I remember. It's the same scent that was left in my home. Musan. Kibutsuchi! Hmm? Muzan Kibutsuchi! <laughs> Daddy? Who's that? He's... What is this? Is he?
What the hell's going on over here? Another drunk. Step away from that man right now, kid. I can't. Bring restraints to hold him down. Quickly! Get away from him! Get up! Please don't do that. I'm the only one who can hold him back. I said get off! Let me go! I don't want this person to kill anybody! Just stay out of the way! Someone could get hurt! Scent of illusory blood. Visual dream. <sighs> that smell... what is it? Huh? What's with the flowers? <clears throat> the hell is this? I can't see anything! Is this some kind of spell? That could mean trouble. What? You. I beg your pardon, but I noticed you called that man a person, even though he is now, in fact, a demon. And now, you're trying to save him. So if it's quite all right with you, I'd like to lend a hand. Why in the world would you... You sent... I know what you are. I know you do. Yes, I am a demon. But I'm also a doctor. I want to help. And I want to destroy Kibutsuji. Just who are you anyway? Let's talk more about this later. First, we need to treat these people. I'll take them to my clinic. Will you come with us? Clinic? But... Um, my sister's waiting for me to come get her, actually. I see. I'll go ahead and take these two in for treatment, then. Yushiro, please show him the way when he is ready. Me? But I don't want to be separated from you. Yushiro, do as I say. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well then, I shall see you again soon. Nezuko. Nezuko! Huh? I'm so sorry, Nezuko. I left you behind. <sighs> huh? Oh. Yushiro's safe. He'll guide us from here. The place we're going is hidden by a concealment spell. If you weren't with me, you'd never find it. Under concealment? Oh yeah, before we go... Did you know that girl is a demon? And not much to look at, either. What was that? Did he just... Doesn't that mean ugly? But who? Nezuko? You gotta be out of your mind! Who would look at Nezuko and think she's ugly? She was the most beautiful girl in our hometown, you know that? Let's go. I know, we're already coming! But take back what you said about her! That's odd. The scent suddenly stops here. What could this mean? D do I just keep going? You're slow. Hey, what's going on here? I already explained this to you, didn't I? This is my concealment spell. I can hide buildings, humans, and even smells. It's what I use to hide Lady Tamayo's clinic. That's why you won't find it unless you're with me. All right, but you need to go a little slower or else I... Let's get on with it. We will not have Lady Tamayo waiting on us. And off he goes again. There's an entire house hidden back here? Hurry up! You better make sure you don't offend the lady in any way. Got it? Come in. I've returned, my lady. 
I'm sorry that I left everything for you to take care of. So how's she doing? She'll make a full recovery. But her husband had to be locked up. He's restrained in the basement. Isn't it difficult treating humans? With all that blood, I mean. Is that what you think? She chokes back her own drool when she treats a human? Cause demons can't control themselves? Don't do that. Treating humans is not all that difficult, actually. At least, for me. But it is different for other demons. I have modified my body's physiology quite considerably. And I've removed Kibutsuji's curse. What curse? And what kind of changes? Why don't we go somewhere we can sit down and talk? I need to hear your side of the story as well. I see. Now I understand what happened. In that case, I think I can certainly be of help to you. But first, I would like to continue where I left off and tell you a bit more about ourselves. As I said earlier, we are demons. However, I made several adjustments to our bodies so we could continue to live without harming any human beings. As a result, we can survive on just a small amount of human blood. Wait, blood? So you're saying... I understand if you find it distasteful, but I buy it from those in poverty. I tell them I'll use it for transfusions. But of course, I never take enough blood to impair anyone. No wonder. That would explain why neither one of them has the same scent as a normal demon. And Yushiro needs even less blood than I do, since I'm the one who turned him into a demon. You turned him? But... how? How did I do it? Well, as far as anyone knows, Kibutsuji is the only one who can create demons. And that is more or less accurate. I tried for over 200 years, and still, Yushiro was my only successful transformation. What? I'm sorry, I should clarify. Creating more demons is not one of my goals. I only attempt to do so when necessary, on the terminally ill or injured, and only when they won't otherwise survive. And even in those cases, I always ask in advance if they would truly prefer to live on as a demon. <laughs> her scent is pure. No signs of deception. I think I can trust her. Miss Tamayo, once someone becomes a demon, is there a way to turn them back again? A way to make a demon human again? There is. <laughs> Please, tell me how! There's always some form of medicine or aid, no matter the wound or ailment. That said, I don't yet know how to turn a demon back into a human. But I promise we will find a way. We are quite dedicated to establishing such a treatment. The first step involves studying the blood of a number of different demons. Which means I have two favors to ask you. First, I'd like permission to study your sister's blood. Second, we need more samples. I'd like you to retrieve them from demons that have Kibutsuji's blood running strong through their veins. Nezuko's condition is extremely rare, perhaps entirely unique. I understand she was asleep for two years. I believe her body changed during that time. In most cases, that long without food, neither human flesh nor the blood of an animal, would undoubtedly cause any demon to grow violent. However, against all odds, Nezuko is showing none of those signs. That miracle could be the key to finding a solution. Nezuko... But my second request is not a simple one. When I say demons with Kibutsuji's blood, I mean demons with powers like those of Kibutsuji himself. Extracting blood from that kind of demon won't be easy. So, what do you think? Are these requests acceptable, if not pleasant? If it's really the only way, then I'll do it. Besides, if you study all that blood, and you can create this medicine, then it won't just be Nezuka, will it? A whole lot of other people will be saved too. Yes, they will. <sighs> oh no! Get down! Turns out you were right, Yahaba! 
This building just materialized out of nowhere! The handiwork of someone using a blood demon art that can hide objects. But that won't erase their footprints. You can't fool my eyes. Hmm. We're supposed to be tracking down a demon slayer. But is he keeping company with demons? I have to say, Susamaru, your way of doing things is just so immature. Utterly careless. Oh, stop whining. Who cares about dust? My Tamari just uncovered their hiding place. Did Kibutsuji send those two? Their scents are different than any other demons I've ever met. They're stronger. Or thicker, maybe. It feels heavy inside my lungs. Oh, we're looking for a demon slayer who wears Hanafuda earrings. That would be you, right? They're targeting me? Who's having fun? I know I sure am! You're about to be killed by one of the 12 Kizuki. Doesn't that make you feel special? 12 oh, Kizuki? They're directly under Kibutsuji. <laughs> now then, let the games continue! Until morning comes, and you're all dead! Miss Tamayo! Are these the kind of demons you need? I'd presume so. Got it. All right, then their blood will be yours! Hmm, not bad for an amateur. <laughs> now we're talking! Oh, can you believe our luck? We've found Tamayo the fugitive. She'll make quite a souvenir. Hey, Yahaba. You think four heads will be enough for us to take home? Too many. We only need two. Demon Slayer and the Fugitive. We have no use for the others. Huh. Well, I'm still gonna have some fun before we take the Demon Slayer's head. Let's get that woman's head first. Now! Die! Nezuko... Can she handle this? If Nezuko keeps one of them busy, it will be easier to focus on the other one, but... No, this isn't the time to be worrying. We just have to do it. Nezuko, you go after one of them, and I'll defeat the other. You just have to keep them distracted until then. <laughs> You're going to fight me on your own? How foolish. Tamayo, she's actually managing to push her back. Yes, but both being demons, at this rate they'll be at a stalemate until dawn breaks. I must do something. <laughs> I think it's about time for you to disappear, you filthy little demon slayer. And in the cruelest way imaginable. I have to calm down. I can't afford to get distracted. I just have to keep an eye out for opportunities to get closer until there's nowhere for him to run. Come on, I can do it! Time for you to die! Twist! Envelop! Twisting whirlpool! Flowing water! Not a chance! <laughs> My sword is so heavy! But I've got this! Second form, improve! I'll get his blood! I have to! I need that medicine! No matter what! I'll fight whatever demons I have to and take out every single one! Ladder up! The water wheel! I did it! Oh, you damn brat! I just needed to bring him your head! 
That's all it would have taken to finally win his approval! I'll never forgive you. I'll make sure you pay for what you've done to me! My face is filthy now! I swear I'll bring you down with me! Oh no! He's got me! I have to use every move I have to stop him! Or my body will be crushed! Fourth form! Striking time! Do something! Think fast! Don't get beaten! Not here! Water wheel! Waterfall basin! Water surface slash! Drop ripple thrust! Whirlpool! I cracked my rib and broke my leg. It, it's no use. I'm so exhausted. I can't even hold my sword. I gotta go. I gotta get over there. There's one more demon left. Hang on. I'm coming. I'll be there soon. Please be safe. Just hang on! Is it over? Is she dead? She will be momentarily. This is Kibutsuji's curse. The cells he left in her body rip her apart from the inside. Tanjiro, this demon we fought is not one of the Twelve Kizuki. What? The Twelve Kizuki all have numbers engraved on their eyeballs, but she doesn't have one. Which means that the other demon likely doesn't either. They were too weak. Too weak? Really? But with any luck... This blood will still be instrumental for us in developing a cure. It's a bit strange. She's been acting like this ever since she woke up. I wonder if she's alright. She's just fine. If I were to guess, I'd say she thinks of you both as family. Thinks of us as family? But I thought the spell Nezuko was under only made her see humans as family. Yushiro and I are demons. Not to Nezuko. You two are as human as anyone to her. She wanted to protect you. You know, I didn't like the idea of that spell at first. But she still seems to have a will of her own, so... I'm so sorry! Nezuko, stop it! Get away from her! You're being very rude! Thank you. Thank you so much, Nezuko. Would you still desire to live? Even if it costs you your humanity? You will indeed succumb to your illness if you don't. But I must warn you. Losing your humanity, it is a painful experience. Yushiro and I will be leaving this region. It's far too risky to stay here now that Kibutsuji is so close. We need a new place to hide. And although I have been careful to keep my identity hidden, after treating so many humans, it is likely some of them have realized I am a demon. So, Tanjiro. Yes? In the interest of protecting Nezuko, would you like us to take her with us when we go? Huh? Obviously, I can't promise her safety, but I believe she'll be in less danger with us than she would in battle. Maybe she's right. Wherever they end up, Nezuko would be safer with them.
Miss Tamayo, thank you for your concern. But Nezuko's staying with me. Nothing will tear us apart. No. Never again. Yes, I understand. Well, I wish you good fortune then. All right. We will be leaving as soon as we cover our tracks. You should get moving as well. You're right. And good luck. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Let's go, Nesuko. Tanjiro. Uh? Your little sister. I guess she is a beauty. They're dead. Worthless, incompetent demons. I'll follow you to the ends of hell! And my blade will be the last thing you see! Damn brat. I'll put an end to you someday. Let's go, Nezuko. Right then, where should we head next? Oh! Tanjiro Kamado! I bring you new orders! South, southeast from Osaksa, there's a mansion full of demons. You must break into it and destroy them. A mansion full of demons? Huh? Please! Please, please, please! Please bury me! You know, I could die any day now! Marry me so I don't die alone! W what is he doing? What on earth? <laughs> so that's it then. Okay, I'll try to help. Come on, I'm begging you! There's no one else! You're the only hope that I have left! Please, I'm asking you again! Marry me! I beg you! Why are you making such a scene in the middle of the road? She's clearly not interested in you. Also, you're stressing your sparrow out! Wait, that uniform... Aren't you that guy from Final Selection? Don't go pretending like we know each other, cause we don't, okay? Ah! But we have met, don't you remember? Don't get angry at me when you're the one with the terrible memory! Alright, you're all set to head home again. Do you need help with anything else? No, thank you very much. Hang on! Don't you interfere! That girl is madly in love with me! The two of us are gonna get married! When did I say anything even resembling that I loved you? All I did was come talk to you while you were crumpled up all disheveled on the side of the road! Huh? No! So are you telling me the reason you did that wasn't because you were falling in love with me? Considering that I already have a fiancé, that's exactly what I've been trying to tell you! Well, you seem perfectly fine now, so goodbye! W wait Come back! Please! Would you give it a rest already? Why did you have to get in my way? This had nothing to do with you! Why are you looking at me like that? Stop it! You're staring at me like I'm some sort of pitiful creature or something! Now listen here, you! I just lost my chance to get married, and it's all your fault! Say something, would you? Look, during my next job, I'll probably die. The reason is, I'm just a weakling. Do you understand? 
You have to help protect me until I manage to get married, mister! My name is Tanjiro Kamado, and you are... Tanjiro? That's good to know! I'm Zenitsu Agatsuma! Please, you've gotta do what you can to save me! Aren't you being a bit dramatic? Why did you even become a swordsman? You're acting utterly pathetic right now. That's a harsh way to put it! I got conned by a woman and racked up a lot of debt! The old geezer who took it over for me was this tough as nails instructor! He made me train to the bone every day! He was so hellish, I just wanted to die! I was hoping that happened during final selection, but since I survived, this nightmare continues to haunt me! Ah! I'm so scared, terrified, frightened! I just know I'm gonna get eaten by a demon! My brains are gonna get sucked through my ears while I'm still alive! Ah! No! Please save me! Hey, are you... okay? <laughs> I know what you mean when you say that you're terrified of demons, but you should try not to worry your sparrow. Huh? You're saying it was distressed? How could you tell? Let's see. He says you're always whining about not wanting to go to work. And you're always hitting on girls, and you snore really loudly. <laughs> Wait, he said all that? You can understand bird language? Yeah. No way! You've gotta be lying to me! Ah! Start running! Start running! Run, Tanjiro! Run, Zenitsu! Both of you must head to your next destination! Run, Tanjiro! Run, Zenitsu! Ah! That crow is talking to us! Come on, let's get going. What? How can you be so calm right now? A mansion. Is this the place? Huh? <sighs> there are kids here? They look scared. Hey there! Is there a reason you're out here by yourselves? <laughs> I'm Tanjiro Kamado, and this is Zenitsu Agatsuma. What are your names? Sh Shoichi and Teruko. Shoichi and Teruko? Those are nice names. Talk to me. Did something happen? Is this your house? No. No, it's not. This is... This house is... It belongs to a monster. Our big brother got taken away. We were walking down the road at night, and this thing appeared in front of us. It went straight for our brother, never giving us a glance. Did it take him into this house? Yeah, that's right. So you two followed them here? That's real brave. Great job. We used the traces of his blood to follow them. That thing really hurt him. He's hurt. It'll be all right. We're gonna go defeat the bad guy and save your brother. Is that true? You'll help him? Yes, I promise. Hey, Tanjiro. Uh, what is that strange sound? It's really unnerving and never stops. It sounds like a drum. A drum? I don't hear anything. <laughs> That's the roar of a demon! It must be the one in the house! Let's go, Zenitsu! Look, the only people who can help them are you and me now! Alright then. Have it your way. You don't be so scary! Fine, I give in, you win! I'll come along with you, okay? I won't force you to go. In case you run into trouble, I'm leaving this box. If you need help, it'll protect you. Okay, we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs>
I smell demons. More than just one. There must be several of them in here. So, Tanjiro? Hey, before we continue... Whatever's in this place with us, you'll be sure to protect me from it, won't you? Zenitsu, I hate to have to tell you this, but in my last fight, I broke a leg and a rib. Neither of them have fully healed up as of yet, so... Wait, what? You've broken bones? What do you mean you have broken bones? If you're that bad, up, it's all over for me! I'm gonna d -d 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 die This is horrible! What am I gonna do? I'm finished! Through! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead! Senitsu, you've gotta calm down. You'll be alright! Don't feed me those empty promises! No, it's true, you're gonna be fine. You're probably... Stay away! <laughs> you two shouldn't be here! We're, we're sorry. There were sounds coming from inside that box. Oh no, you can't leave that box all alone. It's more precious to me than my own life. Ah! Oops, sorry. The room changed. Or did we teleport somehow? It happened on the beat of that drum. <laughs> Sorry you two got separated, but I'm gonna protect you no matter what. And Zenitsu will protect your brother, don't worry. Okay. Come on, let's go. Follow me, alright? <laughs> Among all the different scents in this mansion, this is the strongest one. This demon has eaten so many. This one has to be the master of this place! If it hadn't been for them, those stupid kids and their meddling, damn them. Why do all these unwelcome guests keep barging into someone else's home? Hey you! Listen up! I'm a demon slayer! Rank Mizunoto! Tanjiro Kamado! It's my duty to slay you! A rare blood child that I found myself. <coughs> Terrico! The floor became the walls. The room's been flipped. So this is his blood demon art. This entire mansion is his territory. <coughs> What's this? There's an odd scent, but it's not a demon. <laughs> Here I come! What? Who is that guy? He's wearing a boar's hide. And he's wielding Nichirine swords. Is he with the Demon Slayer Corps? All right, you monster. Die on the battlefield, so I can use you as a stepping stone! I'll kill you, get even more powerful, and soar to new heights! Infuriating. Just infuriating. Hope you're ready for me. Cause I'm coming through with a full rush! <laughs> Insects. <laughs> you're irksome. Now die. <laughs> Insects. Rotating right. Now die. Back left. Insects. Miserable vermin. I'm starting <laughs> to understand. <clears throat> We're in another room now? But that demon didn't strike his drum. So what does this mean? I'm picking up the scent of multiple demons in this house. Is there another demon with a drum then? It's gonna be fine. You just stay behind me. <sighs> huh? And the smell? It's Zenitsu! It has to be! He came this way! The scent is still fresh. 
He must have just been here. I'm also picking up traces of Terrico's brother. Good. They're together. Your brother will be safe with Zenitsu. Is that the boy with the yellow hair? Yep. The one who was crying and screaming in front of the mansion? Y yeah Is he gonna be okay? Of course he will. You should see him. He's amazing. I can tell from his scent. Zenitsu's got this. I'm gonna die! It's over, it's over, it's over! I just know it! I can't believe Tanjiro and I got separated! Teruku? You hear? Hey, hey, hey! You can't go around yelling like that! If the bad guy hears you and fights us, it's not gonna be pretty! Let's just go wait outside! Huh? Why would we do that? Are you trying to escape all by yourself? Huh? All this constant whining about dying. Aren't you a little ashamed of yourself? Huh? It's pathetic to cling to the sleeves of a little kid. <laughs> Why does a coward like you have a sword on his hip in the first place? Those words, they cut right to my core. <laughs> um, hey, Zenitsu? <laughs> You gotta warn me first before you speak up! You can't go surprising me like that here! My heart nearly jumped out of my mouth just now! Sorry about that. If I'd had a heart attack, you would have been directly responsible! You'd be a murderer, do you understand? Well, it's just that you've been sweating, gasping, and shivering really badly. What about it? I'm doing the best I can here, alright? Um, forgive me for saying this, but you're making me really nervous, too. Oh no, I'm sorry! It's just, I feel like if we make too much noise here, that demon you saw might find us, you know? That's why I think it'd be best to be as quiet as possible, don't you think? <gasps> <laughs> A couple of kids. I bet you'll taste delicious. What did I tell you? It's just my luck we'd run into a demon! Zenitsu, you gotta get up! Ah, my knees! My fear is in my knees! Just leave me behind, okay? Make a run for it! I can't do something like that! What a sweet kid. As useless as I am, he's sticking by me. I gotta find a solution to this. If I don't protect him, I don't want to think of what'll happen. Dying before he reaches adulthood would be tragic. But I'm so horribly weak. I don't have the strength to protect him. Get up! But if I don't, then that would mean... <laughs> I'll slurp your brains out through your ears, and I'm going to relish it. Zenitsu! Are you... <sighs> He's asleep. <laughs> Zenitsu? Thunder breathing. First form. Thunderclap and flash. Uh. Huh? Ah! It's dead! When 
did that happen? What the hell? This is weird. What is this? Uh, Shoichi, did... Did you just... You saved me! Thank you so much! I'll never forget that you did this! Why didn't you tell me from the start that you were so powerful? Huh? What are you talking about? You say something? No. It's nothing. We should go now. Yeah. Huh? I smell a human. A different one. It's a familiar scent. Where did I smell this before? Oh, it was him! That swordsman who burst through the wall while we were facing the drum demon! Damn it! He sent me flying again! These last three days, it's been the same old crap! I don't like sneaking around a cramped building like this! Just not my thing! You seem quite spry, human. Die, and become my stepping stone! <laughs> You've got a lot of guts to charge me head on like that! Beast-breathing third-best devourer! Coming through! I can't smell Zenitsu or the boar guy anymore. I know which way the drum demon is. But the room swapping makes it hard to navigate. <laughs> the drum beat. We're in another room now. Is that... I smell a human. Someone other than the boar guy. Are they hurt? I smell blood. But it's... different. I've never smelled blood quite like this before. This is it. This is where the smell's coming from. I'm Tanjiro Kamado. I'm a demon slayer. You hung in there really well. Can you show me your wounds? Tell me exactly what happened, if you can. Uh, a monster dragged me away, and it almost ate me. But then... Another one showed up out of nowhere. They started fighting to the death. Fighting over who was going to get to... Eat me. Then, the demon with the drums growing out of him left one of them behind after he was defeated by the others. When I picked it up and hit it, the room changed. That's how I held out. A demon with drums growing from him? That guy... I think he said something about rare blood. Yes, that's right. I don't really get it, but he called me that. Ah! The term rare blood refers to a special kind of human! Ah! <gasps> You're here too? The blood of all living species can be broken into types, you see. The more scarce the blood, or the more uncommon it is, I should say, the more desirable it is to demons. For you see, in terms of nutritional value for a demon, a rare blood is akin to eating as many as a hundred normal humans. A rare blood is like a bountiful feast for them, a delicacy for the ages. I'm gonna head out there. <sighs> Keep calm. 
It's all right. I'm going to take down that demon. Teriko, listen to me. Your brother is really worn out at the moment. So watch after him, all right? As soon as I leave this room, use the drum to change areas, just like Kiyoshi's been doing. If someone tries to open the door, or you hear something, strike that drum to remove yourself from danger. I promise that I'll come for you. I'll follow your scent back, then I'll call your name so you know it's me. Just hold out a little longer. Can you do it? Great. So brave. <sighs> I'm off. Strike it! What a strong smell. The drum demon must be close. The smell is overwhelming. There's no mistaking it. The drum demon is right here! <coughs> Miss Tamayo did treat my wounds, but these injuries aren't fully healed yet. I'm in so much pain, I don't know how much longer I can hold on! This whole time... I've just been grinning and bearing it. When I pulled Zenitsu off of that girl, when I shouted at him, through all of it, I was enduring terrible pain. I had to push through it. It was my duty as the eldest son of my family. It'll be okay, Tanjiro. Believe in yourself! I'm the eldest son! Rare blood. I need it. To devour even one. I would have as many as fifty, nay a hundred bodies worth. I must search for more rare bloods and devour them. In doing so, I will be able to reclaim my place. It's one of the twelve Kizuki. There you are, drum demon! Damn insects. So infuriating! That demon's attack is leaving tears that look like claw marks! I'm too scared to move in closer! Damn insects! Get out of my sight! Curses! This is irritating. I need to consume a rare blood before it's too late. Keep moving forward. Stay sharp! Give it everything you've got! You can do it! I've been able to survive this long! I know I have what it takes! Whether it's today, or tomorrow, broken bones or not! Without a shadow of doubt in my mind, I will not yield! I'll get my hands on that rare blood, and reclaim my rightful place among the Twelve Kizuki! Die, insects! Water breathing. Night form! Splashing water flow! Turbulent! Water can take on any form. I see the opening thread! Your blood demon art was truly incredible! Answer me. Did you really think my blood demon art was incredible? I truly did. However, killing innocents is unforgivable. I see. Oh, that's right. Gotta get a blood sample. This thing is incredible. Goes to show how crafty Yushiro really is. 
A cat? Oh, you're the one who's going to deliver this to Miss Tamayo, right? You're all set. All right, take care. Oh, I was told that under Yushiro's spell, it would be invisible until it meowed, and then vanish again when it meowed a second time. May your soul rest in peace. I've got to find the kids. Kyoshi! Teriko! Tanjiro! You did a great job hanging in there. Come on, let's head outside. How's your leg feeling? Not too bad. I'm picking up Zenitsu and Shoichi's scent. They'll probably be outside. Seems they're both safe. I smell blood. Come on! Move it! Now, you spineless coward! Draw your sword and face me! Tanjiro, the box, I protected it. You told me this was more important to you than your own life. That's why I did it. If you keep getting in my way, then I got no choice but to take you out Stop with it! it. Huh? Ah, that sound! Did you just fracture your skulls? <laughs> oh. Huh? Are you kidding me? That's what you look like? The hell are you saying? You got a problem with my face or something? There is nothing wrong with your face. In fact, the girlish shape, size, and complexion are quite attractive. You're a dead man! You wanna go? I don't. I won't fight you anymore. Okay, fine. I'll tell you my name, then, numbskull! It's Inosuke Hashibira! Don't you forget it! How is that spelled, exactly? It, uh, 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 I don't know how to read or write, okay? All I know is that name was written on my loincloth! <coughs> oh no! He collapsed! I think it's a concussion. I did headbutt him pretty hard. That's insane! There's not a single drop of blood from Tanjiro's head. How hard could it possibly be? Tanjiro, thank you for everything. We can all get home on our own now. Thank you, Tanjiro! Thank you so much, Tanjiro! And thank you too, Zenitsu. Sh Shuichi, are you going to leave? No, you can't! I won't allow it! Don't go, Shuichi! Please, you gotta stay with us! I've seen how powerful you are! I need you around to protect me from danger! Stop it! He's obviously not interested! Don't leave me behind, Shuichi! I beg you! Stop that this instant! You take care now. We will! <gasps> He's awake! Fight me! Fight me now! Hey! Where are you going? Uh, we're descending the mountain. But we're not done with our battle yet! You're tired, aren't you? Come on, we're heading down. What?! I'm not tired at all! Ah! Ah! Descend the mountain! Descend the mountain! All right! 
right, everyone. It's time to follow yours truly. See? Even the Kasugai Crow says we need to go. I don't care! Let's do this! A Wisteria family crest. It's time to rest! It's time to rest! You've all had a tough day! Rest up now! This house with the Wisteria family crest belongs to a family that was rescued by demon slayers! They'll house you free of charge! Is it really okay for us to rest? I suppose I have been ignoring my injuries. <laughs> Is that a laugh, or... Hello? Uh, hello? Yes? Oh, sorry to bother you this late at night. Shall I presume that you all are demon slayers? Please come in. Who would have guessed? All three of us have broken ribs. This bump hurts a lot worse. Sorry. Excuse me, where's my apology? I'm hurting too. You beat the crap out of me earlier. You sorry? Nope. Just apologize! Forget it! I didn't join the Demon Slayer Corps to make friends. Why did you join then? Huh? Well, you must have had some kind of reason. A member of the Demon Slayer Corps barged in on me on my mountain, so he competed to see who was stronger. I took his blade as a reward. And then, I heard of this thing called Final Selection. I found out demons really exist. So that's what drew you to the Demon Slayer Corps. And hey, you grew up in the mountains. Same goes for me. Don't lump me in with you! I don't have anyone I could call family. Only one thing gives me comfort in this world. And that's testing my strength against others! Is that so? How sad. Hey, Tanjiro. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. You're traveling with a demon. What is that about? Zenitsu. You knew, and you still protected the box. You really are a good person. You know that? Thank you. you. You don't have to compliment me like that. <laughs> I've got a keen sense of smell. That's how I knew from the start. You're a kind person, Zenitsu. Strong, too. Hey, I'm not that strong. Give me a break. That's why I wanted to bring Shoichi along with us, but you ruined it. Uh, but I... <gasps> What's happening? Is it coming after us now? You don't have to worry. <gasps> it escaped! Huh? Hmm? Huh? <sighs> I'll introduce you. Nezuko is my... Tanjiro, how could you? Just who do you think you are? Huh? You've been traveling with a cute girl all this time. You must have had a great time hanging out together, huh? Why did I bear all that pain and suffering? You're a jerk, Tanjiro! I didn't go through all that just so you two could be all lovey-dovey every day! Was that really why I let myself be pummeled and kicked around by a crazy boar guy? Zenitsu, calm down. What's gotten into you? Did you think the Demon Slayer Corps would be all sunshine and rainbows? Guys like you should be erased from this world! Annihilated! I will finally make you pay for thwarting my marriage and for sending off my savior and protector, Shoichi! 
You shall face justice! Don't you ever disrespect the car! You fiend! You are the lowest of the low! Zenitsu, cut it out! Mock the Demon Slayer core, and you'll be sent straight to hell! Feel my wrath! After that, Zenitsu kept berating me well into the night. Over and over again. Hold on, Zenitsu! I don't know what you're talking about! Of course you don't! A lucky guy like you could never understand my pain! Bring her back! That woman I was going to marry, bring her back to me! And while you're at it, get Shoichi too! Look, you need to calm down! I don't even know why you're so upset! Why do you think, you two-faced monster?! Eventually, Zenitsu wore himself out and we all fell asleep. Between the broken bones and general fatigue, I came down with a slight fever. Father's health has always been frail, right? So how can he be out in the snow and still keep dancing and dancing? There exists a breathing technique. One that will prevent you from ever exhausting yourself. Nesuko? I'm sweating. I guess it's the fever. Thanks. You took care of me because you were worried about me, huh? Hmm? <laughs> that dream really takes me back. My father used to do Kagura. It was a beautiful, flowing form of dance. I remember what he said. <laughs> Nezuko! Cut it out, Zenitsu. Tanji. Oh. <laughs> Nezuko is your little sister. That makes you her big brother. <laughs> Let's be best friends, Tanjiro! Zenitsu, why are you following us around like this? Stop it! Oh, come on. Don't be a stranger, Tanjiro. Man, I'm hungry. Pardon me, good sir, but what would you like for dinner? I was thinking of making some tempura. You know, something covered in batter and fried golden brown. Uh. Tanjiro! Zainitsu! Inosuke! I have your next mission! Listen up now! North, northeast! North, northeast! Your next mission is north, northeast! Tomorrow morning, go to Mount Natagumo! Go to Mount Natagumo! Uh, right when we finally started to feel better. All right! You can count on me! Mount Natagumo. I've never heard of that place before. How may I assist you? Which Hashira are available right now? That would be Gyu and Shinobu, sir. Bring them here. At once, sir.
Tensions may escalate beyond our expectations. Tread carefully, my demon slayers. We're heading out. Thank you for everything. I'll bestow good luck upon you. What do you think you're doing? Inosuke! Stop that, you idiot! It's ceremonial! We're going on a journey, and striking sparks is for luck! Huh? Always live your lives in a fashion where you are able to hold your heads up high. I wish you luck in battle. The hell's that even me? Can you just drop it? Let's go! Thank you. Everyone! We need to pause here! Zenitsu? What's wrong? I'm nervous, okay? Now that we're nearing our destination, I'm getting scared! Why the hell is he sitting like that? It's pretty weird if you ask me. <laughs> what is the <this> smell? <laughs> help me! Please help me! Look at his uniform! That guy! He's one of us! Are you all right? What happened? <laughs> they were attached to me too! Please don't let me die here! What's going on here? I'm going in. I'll head in first. You stay behind me, trembling like a scared little animal. This is making me hungry. Why is he such a show-off? <laughs> Here we go. an incredibly pungent odor on the wind. I can't pick up a scent trail like this. This won't tell me where the demons are. Now more than ever, we've got to proceed carefully. <laughs> we've come to help out. I'm Tanjiro Kamado, rank Mizunoto. Mizunoto? Are you serious? They should have sent us a Hashira! No matter how many Mizunoto they send in, it won't be enough! Big talk from the guy who pissed his pants! Now how about you tell us just what is going on here? The... Crow gave us orders... to come to this place. And ten of us Demon Slayers gathered here. Not long after we entered the mountain, that's when it started. My teammates started killing each other! <laughs> you have to go and bring a higher ranked member! And if you don't, I'll end up killing everyone! I beg you! Please! These guys morons or something! They don't know that it's taboo for us Demon Slayers to fight each other! That's not it. They're acting odd. Like... Like they're being controlled. <laughs> There's a strange, sweet scent coming from her back. A thread? That's it! Threads! Inosuke, they're being controlled with threads! I already figured that out! There must be a demon controlling them! But where? <clears throat> that horrible smell again. What is it? Inosuke, there are too many of them. 
We gotta find the demon who's controlling them instead. This disgusting smell is all around us. My nose isn't going to work like this. Listen, if you have some kind of power that can pinpoint the demon's location, that would really help. And you there, your name? It's Murata. Murata! The two of us will take care of the people being controlled. In the meantime... <laughs> I will not let you disturb my family's peaceful life. He's floating? No, he's standing on the threads. Mother will be sure to make quick work of you all. Who's mother? I won't let anyone get in our way. The five of us are going to live in happiness as a family. No one on this mortal plane will tear us apart. Where the hell do you think you're going? Fight me! Fight me! I don't think he's the demon who's controlling our people with those threats. We can't focus on him now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I get it, all right? You want me to go find the one who is? Shut up about it already! <laughs> the closer an individual is to me, the stronger these threats become, as do my precious dolls. Mother... Can you really win? <gasps> really? Don't you think this is taking too much time? You'd better get to it. Or I'll have to tell father. No, I can do it! You don't have to worry! I promise to protect you! So please, whatever you do, don't tell your father! Not him! Then hurry it up. I have no choice but to unleash that one, then. Over here! We're getting close! Now that the winds changed direction, my sense of smell is returning. There, I'm picking up two more scents. Something's there. Inosuke! I detected that thing before you did! It doesn't even have a head! That thing's got no weak spots! Where am I supposed to cut? What do we do? What do we do? Inosuke, this is a tough one, but we can do it! If we put our heads together, we'll be able to win! <laughs> no, that doll was my fastest and strongest! Alrighty, Nosuke! <laughs> you did it! <sighs> Ascent? So that's why you did that! It's... it's Rui's fault for coming and threatening me! That's why I panicked! It's not my fault! <gasps> Water breathing! He's going to cut my head off for sure! What do I do? I have to think of something! First form! Although... If I die, I'll be freed. Oh. 
I'll find peace. Water breathing. Fifth form! Blessed rain after the drought. It's like I'm being showered by a gentle rain. It doesn't hurt. Not at all. I just feel warm. I never dreamed my end would be this tranquil. And now, I'll be released. Those eyes. Such kind eyes. Back when I was human, I think there was someone who used to look at me with those same gentle eyes. One of the twelve Kizuki is here. Be careful. <laughs> A member of the twelve Kizuki here? Just within my grasp. The Twelve Kizuki should possess a high amount of Kibutsuchi's blood. If I can extract it, the medicine that'll help Nezuko will be finished sooner. <laughs> Inosuke's still back there! So, did you take out that monster? Hey, are you okay? You're bleeding. Don't go showering me with your mushy sensitivity and kindness! That demon gave off a scent of terror and suffering. Enough to make her yearn for death. What's going on on this mountain? I wonder if the others hate me. Would someone normally leave their friend behind like this? You'd talk him through it if you were close, wouldn't you? If they had both tried to convince me to go, I would've. I'm sure of it. But instead, they both went on their merry way up that scary mountain. Leaving poor little me all alone. <sighs> I bet Nezuko would have stayed and comforted me. Yeah, she definitely. Wait. Ah! Ah! Tanjiro! He took Nezuko with them! Why did he have to go and take my precious Nezuko with them like that? Damn you, Tanjiro! Taking a young girl like her into danger? Idiot, idiot, idiot! I'll save you, Nezuko! Ouch! Ugh, ow! Something just pricked me! What the hell? I'm so frustrated! I can't find Tanjiro or Inosuke anywhere! Where did they go? Which way now? Let's go! Tanjiro! Where are you? Uh, come on! Crap, crap, crap! Where did they go? I can't find them anywhere! Tanjiro! Where did you take my precious Nezuko? How can you do this? Something really stinks around here too! Gross! And the sound of these spiders running around is so creepy! I'm sure they're just doing their best to survive the same as me, but still! Be quiet! Stop moving around! Why did that spider have a human face on it? What is happening right now? What is happening? Please be a dream, please be a dream, please be a dream, please be a dream! If I wake up right now, I promise to work harder! 
If I were to wake up in the presence of my precious Nezuko, then I'll do anything! I'll do hard labor, I'll even plow fields, a whole acre! No, two! I promise! Let me wake up from this nightmare! What is happening right now? What is happening? Are those humans who got turned into spiders? And is that house floating? I can't quite make it out, but are those threads? Oh, and it really stings! Talk about pungent! Tanjiro would hate this for sure! The smell is making my throat hurt! Not just that, it's irritating my eyes too! It's huge! Look at the size of that thing! You'd better not start talking to me! I don't want to hear anything from you! <laughs> You've already lost the battle! I told you not to talk to me! I don't want to hear it, so stop talking! Things like you give me the creeps, all right? Take a look at your hands! <laughs> my hands? Why? What's wrong with my hands? What the? You're poisoned. A spider bit you, didn't it? You're gonna turn into one before long. <laughs> In half an hour, you'll be my slave, crawling all over the ground. First, you'll start to feel tingling and pains in your limbs. <laughs> Next, you'll feel dizzy and nauseous. After that, your body will painfully start to shrink, and you'll black out. And by the time you wake up... <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Shut up, shut up, you just shut up! There's no need to be afraid. Once the transformation is taking effect, you lose your humanity. Exactly! That's just what I've been dreading about all this! Why can't you get that through your head, huh? Someone like you wouldn't have anyone special in their lives! Ah, no, not that! I don't want to turn into one of those things! Ah. Get a hold of yourself! Stop crying and running away! Doing that isn't going to get you anywhere! Getting hit by lightning... How unlucky can you get? That's when my hair color changed. I hate myself more than anyone else. I always try to get my act together. But I just end up running away, or cowering in fear. I want to change. I want to be a capable individual. The fact is, I'm already doing absolutely everything that I can! But in the end, I'm gonna lose all my hair and become a horrific spider creature?! What's up with this guy? He's a strange one. Listening to me? Am I gonna turn into something as brainless as you guys? Ah! No, 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 no! Just give me a break already! He fainted? How spineless can you get? Isn't he a demon slayer who came here to kill our family? He's gonna fall on his head and die! What the hell? Hmm? Believe in yourself. You endured all that hellish training. 
You'll be rewarded for that without question. What's this? His demeanor is completely changed. You need only master a single thing. Become your own blade. The strongest of all! What the? Get him! Ugh, persistent bastard! All of you, get him now! Thunder breathing. First form. What's this? The air is vibrating! Yeah. You lowly human! Thunderclap and flash. Take a single thing and master it! Sixfold! Defeated by someone who can hardly move their limbs! <gasps> I just want a dream. A happy, peaceful dream. In it, I'm more powerful than anyone. I'm able to help the weak. Anyone in trouble. Anytime. And everything that Gramps taught me, all the time and effort he spent, and wasn't for nothing. In this dream, thanks to Gramps, I became strong and was able to help a lot of people. But the time for dreams is over now. Don't ever give up! Don't ever give up. I can use the breathing technique to slow down the poison. Even if it's painful, even if it's agonizing. I can't take the easy way out, or Gramps will let me have it. Yeah, taunt you all too. He'll yell at me for sure. Hello there. Who is that? Hello there. Are you all right? What was that sound? Did lightning just strike? How should I know? Well, I'm not smelling any thunderclouds. But that odor got stronger and is messing with my senses again. Hey, Kedro! Who gives a crap about that? Stop spacing out! The demons are still out there! Yeah, I know. Let's go. And it's Tanjiro! Tanjiro! From my family! Inosuke, here he comes! Listen up, you damn demon! I'm gonna tear you to shreds! I'll go for the neck! You hear me? Promise me you won't die! 
<laughs> oh, crap! <gasps> Where did it go? Hey! What the hell? <laughs> oh, I get it. I really scared it off, huh? Live your lives in a fashion where you are able to hold your heads up high. I won't lose. No way I'm gonna lose! I'm Inosuke Hashibira of the Demon Slayer Corps! Give me the worst you got, you dirtbag! <laughs> your head is mine! <laughs> Away from my family! Damn it! No way! I'm gonna die! Who are you? Water breathing. Fourth form. Striking time. Absolutely amazing! Who even is this guy? I still have goosebumps! Fight me, you dumb half and half howry! You beat that member of the 12 Kizuki! And now, right here, I'm gonna beat you! That's how this is gonna work! If I can manage that, that'll make me the most powerful of all! I have a better idea. Go train more. What'd you just say to me?! That wasn't even one of the 12 Kizuki. Could you not even tell that? Of course I could tell! For your information, it was Tanjiro who was saying it was one of them! I was just repeating what he said to me earlier! Huh? <laughs> what the hell? When did he tie me up? If you are not aware of what state your body is in, you shouldn't be fighting. Ah, I can't hear you! Your voice is too soft and you're walking too fast! I said hold your horses! Get me down! That demon threw me really far. I've got to hurry and regroup with Inosuke. Just hold on. I'll be back soon. What are you looking at? This isn't a play, you know. What are you doing? Aren't you two fighting on the same side? The same side? Don't go phrasing it in such an infantile manner. The two of us are family. We are connected by a powerful bond. Regardless of that, this is between me and my sister. 
If you insist on interfering, I'll carve you up. You're wrong. Family or comrade, as long as you feel close to one another, that's all that really matters. Calling such precious bonds childish, that's not true at all. Not only that, but those who are strongly connected with each other give off the scent of trust. All I'm picking up from you two is the scent of terror, hatred, and revulsion. That's not something you can call a bond. It's a fake, a forgery. Now then, what did you just say? I asked you, what did you say to me? <laughs> Look how scary he got. It feels like the air became ten times heavier. Inosuke, I'm sorry. I'm gonna need you to hang in there a little longer. I'll be there as soon as I defeat this demon. I'll come help you no matter what! I'll say it as many times as I have to. The bonds you have aren't real at all! <sighs> He's smarter than I gave him credit for. He doesn't shrink back in fear. Water breathing! First form! Not that any of that will matter in the end. Water surface left! <laughs> My... my sword's been broken. I can't believe it! Are... are those threads he's controlling? Are they even tougher than the demons I've cut through? I can't dodge this! Nezuko! Nezuko, hang in there! You protected me! Thank you! The girl emerged from that box and defended him. But I'm sure she's one of us! <laughs> is she your sibling? And so what if she is? Siblings. Siblings. His sister's been turned into a demon. Yet she stays by his side. R Rui? She risked her own life... to protect him. That is a genuine bond, and it'll be mine! Rui, hold on a second! Please reconsider! I'm your elder sister! You can't abandon me! Shut up! None of you were able to fulfill the roles you were assigned. Not once in your entire life. Wait, brother! Wasn't I the elder sister that you wanted? Give me another chance! Very well, then. Go kill the humans wandering all over this mountain. If you do that, I'll forgive you for what just happened. Uh, all right. Yes, I'll do that. Boy, let's talk. Just the two of us. The truth is, what your sister did, I found it genuinely moving to behold. I doubt any words exist that describe exactly how I felt. However, your fate now is death. A disagreeable conclusion for you, no doubt. So listen close. I'll impart to you how you can escape your fate. I want you to give your sister to me. If you do so, then I will spare your life. I have no idea what you're talking about. As of today, instead of being your little sister, she's mine. You don't actually think I'd ever agree to that, do you? First off, Nezuko's not a thing! She has her own will and feelings! There's no way she'll ever be your sister! It's alright. You don't need to worry. I'm stronger than you. I will create a bond with her. One made of terror. She'll know what happens when I'm defied. I've had enough of you spouting this nonsense! Using fear to keep someone shackled to you isn't the bond of a family! And until you are able to figure that out, you'll never get what it is you desire! So irritating. 
Would you mind not shouting? It's clear we don't agree. I'll never hand Nezuko over to you! Very well, then. I'll just take her after I kill you. Not if I manage to cut your head off first! Now that's the spirit. I would love to see you try. Let's see if you have what it takes to bring down one of the twelve Kizuki. Is Isis lower rank five? As I thought, this power, he really is one of the twelve Kizuki. In a family, the father has his designated role to fulfill, and the mother has hers in turn. The parents protect their eldest children, and the eldest protect the younger ones. What are you even talking about? The way I see it, if you don't understand your own role in life, there's no reason in living it to begin with. As for you, I'll tell you your role. It is to relinquish your younger sister to me and disappear. If you refuse, your only other path is death. For you cannot defeat me. It won't be easy to cut those threads. But what do I do if his neck is even tougher? Not to mention my broken sword. That steely look in your eyes. I don't like it. What are you plotting? Don't tell me. You think you can defeat me? Ne Nezuko! Quiet down. This won't be enough to kill her. She's a demon. <laughs> <sighs> Calm down. Don't get emotional. Concentrate. Control your breathing! <laughs> Don't be afraid. Get into his face and cut his neck. Then rescue Nezuko! Now! Total concentration! Water breathing! Transform! It's futile. Constant flux! Ah! I did it! I just have to keep closing the distance! Boy, you don't think these threads are at maximum strength, do you? Blood demon art. Cutting thread cage. I have no more use for you. Farewell. Not good. I can't cut these threads. I don't have enough momentum. Something's wrong. We're giving off a totally different scent than the other ones. This can't be how it ends. I can't! Am I really gonna die here? Am I? Tanjiro. You are breathing. Master your command over it, and become like the Hinokami. Look, Tanjiro. That is your father's Kagura dance. Our family works with fire, so to ward off injuries and disasters, we offer this dance to Hinokami, along with our prayers at the start of each year. Father's health has always been frail, right? So how can he be out in the snow and still keep dancing and dancing? If that were me, I bet my lungs would freeze. There exists a breathing technique. One that will prevent you from ever exhausting yourself. If you can master the correct way to breathe, you'll be able to dance forever too, no matter how cold it gets. No Kami! Kagura! Dance! How? Break through, Tanjiro! You have to break through! 
I see it! The opening thread! <sighs> Please, let me reach him! Nezuko... Please wake up! Nezuko... You need to save your brother. You're capable of doing so. Your brother will be killed if you don't. Blood demon art. Exploding blood! Impossible. But my neck is even harder than the threads. You can't possibly cut it. The bond between Nezuko and I! Cannot! Family's Kagura passed down for generations, somehow manifested itself into a technique. And that helped me defeat that demon. I beat him. I won. Nezuko. <clears throat> my vision's blurry. And my whole body's throbbing with pain. Is it because I took too many breaths too fast? I... Gotta catch my second wind and press on. I still need to go help Inosuke as soon as I can. The scent of blood just became stronger. Don't tell me he survived that, but I cut his head off. You thought you defeated me. How sad for you. Did your delusion bring you a brief moment of joy? I cut my head off myself using my own threads, before you were able to do the job yourself. Enough struggling. I'll kill both you and your sister. I haven't been this incensed in a long time. Get up! Get on your feet! You need to control your breathing! Hurry! There's no time! Now I'm going to carve you up without regret. Blood demon art. Murderous eye basket. Don't let your breathing be disrupted, Tanjiro! Calm down. Just stay calm! My arm! I can't raise my arm! remained because I was the strongest I couldn't depend on anyone to protect me no one the more powerful I became the more distant my memories of being human became as well I began losing sight of what it was I wanted in the first place I sought out a bond that I was never able to claim for myself. Not in my old life, nor the new one I created. His body is giving off a scent, one of grief too overwhelming for him to bear. So 
so warm. Hands gentle as sunbeams. Don't waste your sympathy. It was a demon. The fact it looked like a child makes no difference. It lived for decades, terrorizing our people. If it's for the sake of avenging people who were killed, to make sure there are no more victims, I won't hesitate to bring my blade down on any demon's neck. But when it comes to those who felt despair and regret from the actions they took as a demon, I will never disrespect them. Because at one time or another, they were human. No different from me! Aren't you too? Oh my! Why would you get in my way, Tomioka? And after you told me we could never be friends with demons, I have to say, this kind of thing is exactly why no one likes you. Now then, Tomioka, would you please move? People do like me. Oh dear, I do apologize. You're only just hearing about this now then? I'm sorry, I didn't mean for you to find out this way. Boy! Yes, ma'am! What you're protecting there is actually a demon. So please move away before you get hurt. No, you're mistaken. Well, you're not mistaken, but she's... She's my little sister. She's my sister, and that's why... Oh my, is that really true? You poor thing. In that case, so she won't suffer, I'll use a gentle toxin in order to kill her. <sighs> Can you move? Even if it's difficult, you need to go. Take your sister and run. Tomioka, thank you. I appreciate this. Did you just break the rules of the core? <laughs> Tomioka. Oh, that's right. He's the one we met before. Tomioka's the one who introduced me to Uro Kodaki. Back when Nezuko was first turned into a demon, I had no idea what to do back then. And now, he's saving us again! I can't ever thank him enough! My whole body... is aching so much, I want to scream! But I have to keep going, and endure it! Don't stop running! Keep on moving! You've got to run away! This forest! <laughs> Tomioka, this is clearly against the rules. You're preventing me from slaying a demon. What are your intentions here? Don't you have anything to say for yourself? As I recall, it was two years ago. Are you about to go into a long-winded story from the past just to spite me? It's because of what I said to you earlier, is that it? <laughs> message! Message! <laughs> <laughs> Tanjiro and Nezuko are to be taken into custody and brought back to headquarters! Tanjiro and the demon Nezuko are to be taken into custody and brought back to headquarters! Tanjiro with a scar on his forehead! Nezuko, a demon girl with a bamboo muzzle! Are you Nezuko? He does have a scar. Alright, let's bring him in. Come on, let's get going. Everyone else is already starting to clear out.
The battle for this mountain is over. I'm sure that even after this, there are some who cannot accept Nezuko. Work towards changing their minds. Prove them wrong. Hey, you're awake. You passed out cold the second we moved you here. Everyone was worried because you weren't waking up. Figures I'd be the one who'd have to watch you. I always said you were pretty out of it, but... Well, I guess she was right. I see. What's wrong? My head just feels a little foggy. I can't really remember what happened. Oh, is that all? After all that, he's gonna act this way? How arrogant is this kid? My stomach hurt so bad the whole time. After the mission on Mount Natagumo. That's right, I... Hey! Come on! Get up! Are you gonna sleep the whole dang day? Just wake the hell up, will ya? <laughs> You're in the presence of the Hashira! I heard he was a demon slayer with a demon in tow. I was expecting someone with a bit more flair. But it's just some ordinary looking kid. We must see that this boy is put on trial to be judged. So it shall be! To think that he's been protecting his sister who was turned into a demon! What a brave and beautiful display of sibling love! What? Who are all these people? Don't open your mouth until you're told! Do you know who you're in the presence of? These are the Hashira! The Hashira? I have no idea what that is. Who are all these people? Where even am I? This is the Demon Slayer's headquarters. You are here because you, Tanjiro Kamado, are to be put on trial. Before we begin the trial, why don't you explain the crime you have been accused There's of? There's no need for a trial! Alas, to see such a pitiful creature as this, I grieve for him. Perhaps it would have been better had he not been born at all. Those clouds, what do you call them when they're shaped like that? I can't remember. Wait, where's Nezuko? Hey, the Hashira are speaking. What are you looking at? Your eyes should be over there! These are the nine highest-ranking swordsmen in the Demon Slayer Corps! Those are the Hashira? <laughs> hey! Nezuko! Where did you take her? Nezuko! Senitsu! Hinosuke! Murata! Never mind this boy. What will we do with Tomioka? Seeing him standing there without any restraints is making me feel ill. Based on what Kocho told us, he's just as guilty of breaking the Corps' rules. How should we make him take responsibility? 
What kind of lesson shall we teach him? Igoro, you're as sharp-tongued as ever, I see. I love that side of you. Look at Tomioka over there, all alone and stoic-like. What a cutie! Oh, I think it's fine. He did come here without resisting. Let's come up with a penalty later. What I'm more interested in is hearing this boy's story. He's in this situation because of me. Tanjiro Kamado, as a fellow demon slayer, for what purpose are you traveling with a demon? You can take your time. Just answer the question. She's my... my young... <coughs> you look like you need some water. I can tell you injured your jaw, so please, drink slowly. I added an anesthetic to the water to help. Your wounds are still healing, so it would be best if you didn't push yourself. Are you ready to tell us your story now, Tanjiro? That demon is my little sister. My family was attacked by a demon while I was gone, and I lost them all. Except for her. She may be a demon, but she's never hurt anyone. She never has. And she never will. She'll never harm a human being no matter what! Enough. Spare us the absurd ramblings. Anyone would defend their family. Why should I believe a single word you say? Sorry, but I'm not buying it. Please, just listen to me! I became a swordsman in hopes of finding her a cure! It has been two whole years since Nezuko became a demon, and she hasn't ever eaten anyone! Your storytelling is lacking any vibrant sparks of color. She hasn't eaten anyone, and she never will. If you're gonna plead your case, at least make it interesting to listen to. Excuse me. Something about this concerns me. I find it hard to believe the Master would have been unaware of this situation. I don't think we should act without his permission. Maybe it's best if we wait until he arrives. My sister. Let my sister stay by my side. She can fight to protect humans as a demon slayer. I know she can. So please. Well, well, well. What exactly do we have brewing over here? Is that the moron who's been traveling with a demon? <sighs> Start talking. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Oh, those new scars make Shinazugawa look even more handsome! Go on. Say that again, kid. She can fight to protect humans as a demon slayer. Isn't that what you said? You know what we call that? Being completely out of your mind, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who harms my sister answers to me! I don't give a damn if you're one of the Hashira! <laughs> Is that supposed to scare me? Cease this at once. The Master will be here at any moment. The Master of the Mansion has returned. My beloved children, I thank you for coming here this day. <laughs> Good morning to you all. The weather is strikingly nice today. Perhaps with the blue sky, finding ourselves here, at our semi-annual gathering, with all the same faces, it brings me joy. He looks wounded. No, sick maybe? Is he really their master? The Master, the Hashira, Nezuko, Nezuko. Where's Nezuko? Huh? Your sister is right there. She's been asleep the whole time. Makes sense, given everything that's happened. R right. Okay. <sighs> You look like you're still a little groggy. 
Why don't you go for a walk and wake yourself up? We'll be safe here in the Butterfly Mansion. And I'm pretty tired of watching over you. I'll go tell everyone you're awake. If you see anyone around, make sure you greet them properly. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, sure thing. Just feel better soon, okay? A proper greeting. Okay. Looks like I've got everyone worried. Let's go. I'm so glad you're awake. Uh, thank you. I'm sorry to be a burden. This place is for treating those who have been wounded in the line of duty. It's our job to take care of you. There is no need to apologize. Oh, well, thank you very much then. Though you are awake, your body may not yet be back to normal. You need to keep resting to ensure a full recovery, understand? Yes, I'll do my best. Is this really the same boy who made such a fuss at the Hashira meeting? Oh, Zenitsu, Inosuke! Oh, Tanjiro, you sure look like you're up and refreshed. What are you two doing here? What do you think? We're lying in the sun. There's nothing for us to do. And, well, just look at Inosuke. I'm sorry for being so weak. Uh, oh. Anyways, you met the Master, right? Oh, what was she like? What'd you think when you first saw her? Oh my gosh, please tell me she was a beauty. The Master is a man. I've lost interest in this conversation. Ah, Tanjiro's awake! It's just as the Gakushi said! I am so glad! Thank you. Sorry to worry you all. How are your wounds, Tanjiro? Oh, uh, they're okay. It doesn't hurt much anymore. I'm so glad to hear that. But that doesn't mean you can go and do anything strenuous. Yeah, Shinobu will get mad at you. Got it. I'll take it easy for a while. It's just as you've all reported. The demon's carnage has reached an all-time high. This means the threat to human life is greater than it has ever been before. We must bolster the ranks of the demon slayers. Now, what are your thoughts? The incident on Mount Natagumo says it all. The caliber of demon slayers has dropped tremendously. Most of them are completely useless. The trainers must have gone blind. You'd think they could at least tell if someone's competent or not. The more the human race grows, the harder it becomes to control and unify them. And in this era, that seems to be especially true. We have those who've joined us after their loved ones were slaughtered. And those who have hunted demons for generations. But for the others, it's another matter entirely. Asking laymen for the same or even greater commitment to our cause. I feel this would be much too cruel. But we must consider that this boy, soon after joining, encountered one of the Twelve Kizuki. I think he can draw them out. Even we rarely get the chance to confront one. I am envious! A fair point. However, the fact that lower rank 5 made such a drastic move likely means Kibutsuji is far from Mount Narakumo. Like with Asakusa, whenever he wishes to hide something, he proceeds to create a clever diversion to throw us off his trail. To be honest, it's quite frustrating. But as long as these demons linger as they do now, 
freely devouring humans and gaining strength as a result. There is only one thing for us to do, for the sake of those who have died. I feel you who are present today, the Kors Hashira, are the finest unit I have assembled since the Swordsmen of the Feudal Era. The very first to use breathing techniques. Tengen Uzui, Kyojuro Rengoku, Shinobu Kocho, Mitsuri Kanrochi, Uichiro Tokito, Yome Himejima, Sanemi Shinazugawa, Obanai Igoro, Giyu Tomioka, my beloved children. I look forward to seeing your success. It had been a few days since I'd arrived at the Butterfly Mansion, and my body was recovering nicely. Shinobu, the insect Hashira, smiled as she told me what was next. Let's have you start your rehabilitation training. Rehabilitation training. At the time, I didn't know what to expect. But it was so hard. Seriously, like having my heart torn out from my chest. First, they stretched us out to the point of tears. Then, Aoi and Kanaho put us through the ringer, with a combination of reflex training and full body tag practice. We had to keep doing it, day after day. But uh, we never won. Kanaho is especially hard to beat. With their spirits broken, Zenitsu and Inosuke stopped coming to training. I'm not very skilled, so I figured the only thing I could do is keep giving it my all. But one day, Kiyo, Naho, and Sumi gave me a piece of advice. Total concentration, constant. And it was totally new to me. It's a hell of a technique, being able to remain in that state around the clock. There was no way I could defeat Kana'o without it. And to achieve such power, your lungs need to be strong enough to break a giant gourd. With that goal in mind, my path was set. The only thing left was to put in the work. I'm the kind of person who keeps on trying, pushing forward bit by bit. Perseverance is the only thing I have. And sure enough, as the days passed, I started to get the hang of it. After a lot of struggle, I finally managed to maintain my total concentration breathing. And ever since then, it's become a little more natural for me. I've decided it's time to try breaking that gourd. This will be the ultimate test of my new power. I can probably... No, I will definitely do it. All right. I feel good about this. My body's gotten used to maintaining the total concentration state. I'm gonna break that gourd! <sighs> They're gone. When are Zenitsu and Inosuke going to get back to training? Good morning. Oh, good morning, Shinobu. Starting your training for the day? Actually, I want to test my constant breathing by trying to break a gourd. I see. 
It's a bit embarrassing when she stares at me like that. With how hard you've been training, you might see good results. Really? All right! I've got this! Tanjiro. Yes? I've said this before, but good luck. I have high hopes for you. Yes, ma'am. I'll do my best. Hey, Tanjiro. Zenitsu, you gonna start training again soon? Everyone's waiting. They're worried about you. Training? Oh, I'm over that now. The girls were nice and all, but I couldn't even get within arm's reach of Kano. I did everything I could. Oh well. Come to think of it, where's Inosuke? Was he not with you? Oh, he's off playing in the mountains. Well, it's about time I find somewhere to hang out too. Let's see, where should I go today? <laughs> I can't wait! This is hopeless. I've got to finish my training so I can show them the ropes. Good morning! Oh, hello. Did you need me for something? Yes, we thought you might like to try breaking a gourd. We were waiting for you. Whoa! How did you know? We've been watching you every day. We can just tell. Am I really that transparent? In any case, it feels nice to know they're looking out for me. I appreciate it. All right. Time to try it out. Good luck, Tanjiro. We're rooting for you. Blowing so much air into a gourd that it breaks. When I first heard that, I thought it was impossible. But now I know that the longer I'm able to keep up my total concentration breathing, the stronger my body gets. Maybe I can actually do it! Alright! Let me at it! You can do it, Tanjiro! without your help. I went to the dojo first thing in the morning and challenged Kanaho to another round of full-body tech training. And just like always, Kanaho was as fast as lightning. Since I finally mastered total concentration breathing constant, I actually managed to catch her. All that's left now is reflex training. A battle to splash the other with tea! Last time, I didn't stand a chance against her. But today, I'm gonna win! Let's do this!
I trained so hard for this. I'll probably... No, I'll definitely win. I can see how she's moving now. Whoa, he's moving totally differently from before. I can't believe he's able to hold his own against Kano. Total concentration breathing constant is really paying off! I'll put this right here! Incredible! I can't believe he beat Kano! Great work! Thank you so much. Oh. Senitsu. Inosuke! Uh-oh. Mundro's getting too far ahead of me. The technique Tanjiro mastered is called Total Concentration Constant. What? By maintaining total concentration breathing every minute of the day, your physical fitness drastically improves. It's honestly quite elementary. Anyone could do it. You just need to put in the effort. Tell me, are you just not strong enough? <coughs> I was sure it would be child's play for you, Inosuke. Was I wrong about that? I guess it was just too much. Oh well then, don't you worry. If you can't do it, I guess that's that. Excuse me! Of course I can do it! Don't you talk down to me! Huh? Please give it to your all, Zenitsu. I'm your number one supporter. <laughs> okay! Nine days later, Zenitsu and Anosuke threw themselves into their training and seemed to get the hang of it in no time. Once they master total concentration constant, they finish their full body and reflex training without much trouble. Now, all three of us have finished our rehabilitation training. It was a long road, but we came out much stronger by the end of it. And now... Excellent. Looks like you're good as new. That ends the exam. Since you're in physically good health, you're fit to carry out your missions now. So I'm done training? Yes. Next is in-field combat. Great! Oh, before I forget, there's something I wanted to ask you. What is it? Have you ever heard of the Hinokami Kagura? I have not. Huh? I, I uh... Well then, what about fire breathing? Never heard of it. <laughs> Well, these are techniques that I learned in my family growing up. Oh, huh. I see. So you're saying your father seemed to be using fire breathing. I've heard of flame breathing, but that's not the same thing. Huh? It's not? I don't quite know the details myself. I'm sorry. But I do know that they're very strict about the exact phrasing. Flame breathing must never be referred to as fire breathing. You may want to ask the Flame Hashira, Rengoku, for more details. This crow can help you out. Thank you. I'll ask him a lot of questions. For now, I'll be off. Tanjiro? Yes? You'll do great things. Thanks! Saying goodbye has broken your little hearts. I can stay behind if you like. Zenitsu, while you're on your journey, please learn to be considerate and respectful of girls, okay? Yes. I'm feeling happy. You do feel a little sad that I'm leaving, though, right? We're not sad. 
Shinjiro, please take care of yourself. Don't push yourself too hard. Please defeat lots of demons. I will. Thank you for everything. All right, everyone. We're heading out now. For the Mugen train mission, I have decided to send Tanjiro and the others. Tanjiro has a pure soul and will work diligently toward all his goals. And the potential he showed exceeded my expectations. And perhaps most importantly of all, his sense of purpose lies in defeating Kibutsuji. I am in complete agreement with you on those counts. On another matter, Tanjiro told me his father had used fire breathing. Ah. <sighs> As of now, there's no denying that he still has quite a ways to go. But I think that Rengoku, our flame Hashira, could give him assistance. Agreed. Considering that his sister is a demon who refrains from killing humans, and that he already came face to face with Kibutsuji, Tanjiro may very well have been born to fulfill this destiny. Hey! Wait a damn minute! What the hell is this creature?! Wait, could it be? I've heard of such a being! The master and ruler of this land! It's a steam train. You've never seen one? This might be the guardian spirit of this land. Uh, I said it's a train. You've never seen one either? A vehicle for transportation? Huh? A train? So this is what the crow was talking about? The Mugen train. Hopefully I can speak to Rengoku. So what are we gonna do, Tanjiro? Let's find Rengoku. Where? I'm not picking up his scent, so he's probably on the train already. <laughs> the hell? You guys really climbing in the belly of the beast? I told you, it's a train. Yeah, okay, I mean. You'll never expect an attack from the inside. Let's do this. Whatever. All right, let's go. <laughs> this thing's fast! This Rengoku guy, he's a Hashira, right? Are you sure you'll recognize him? Yeah, along with his fiery hair, I remember his scent, too. I think we're getting pretty close, so... Tasty! 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 That's the flame, Hashira? Uh-huh. Tasty! Tasty! Excuse me, sir. Um, R Rengoku? Tasty! Um, yeah, we heard you. Ah, I see! But I don't know a thing! I've never even heard of Hinokami Kagura. Adapting your father's dance to battle is commendable. That's all I have to say about it. Hang on, are you sure you can't think of... You should become my Tsuguko, my successor. I'll take you under my wing. Not so fast, and what are you even looking at? Flame breathing has a long history. Across the ages, flame and water swordsmen have been among the Hashira. Flame, water, wind, stone, and thunder. The breathing fundamentals. All other techniques branched off from those five. For example, mist is a branch of wind. Mizuguchi, huh? what color is your sword? The name's Kamado, 
And my sword is black. Is it now? How unfortunate. Why do you say that? I've yet to see one with a black sword become a Hashira. Also, I hear they have no idea what style to master. But there's no need to worry. I can train you. What a considerate guy. After all that, I didn't learn a single thing about Hinokami Kagura. And he really drove home how unusual my black sword is. Haganeska and Arokodaki weren't expecting it either. <laughs> Don't let it get to you. There hasn't been such a Hashira yet. But who knows? You could be the first. Same with Hinokami Kagura. We simply haven't seen it yet. If you sit here stewing on it, you won't be able to concentrate on your mission. Who knows when a huh? demon might appear? Better to stay focused. Wait, there are demons on this train? Indeed. Seriously? No! I thought the train was taking us to the demons, not trapping us in here with them! I can't do this! I'm out! Over 40 people have gone missing from this train in a short period of time. We sent in several swordsmen, but they all vanished. That's why I'm here. What? Yeah, okay, sure. I'm out. Get me off this train. Oh, I'm getting off. I need to get off. I don't want to die here. May I see your tickets, please? What's this about? The conductor needs to check that your ticket is valid. What is that? I'm picking up a horrible scent. Thank you. Very much. Hmm? Conductor, get yourself to safety. I'm afraid this is an emergency, so please overlook the sword. What a giant! Did you use a blood demon art? It was difficult to detect you. Know this. If you bear your fangs at the innocent, we'll see your bone turn to ash with my bright red flame blade! Flame breathing. First form. Unknowing fire! You're so cool! That was incredible swordplay! Please make me your apprentice! Very well then! I'll make you a fine swordsman! Me too! Me too! Me too! Me too! I'll take you all in! You're awesome, big bro! Big bro! To die while in the rapture of a dream, a blessing indeed. It doesn't matter how powerful a demon hunter you are. The spark that drives these beings comes from the heart, the human spirit. All you have to do is stamp out their spiritual core. You can kill them just like that, then they just crumble away. Even they are still human after all, like delicate glasswork. They're so pitifully fragile and weak. Now, your time has come, my pawns. Go and shatter the Demon Slayer's hearts for me. <laughs> hmm. Why am I here? That's right. I remember now. I have to report to my father about becoming a Hashira. So what if you become a Hashira? Worthless! It means nothing. You'll still never amount to anything. Neither you, nor I.
Uh, brother? Did your news make father happy? Do you think that when I become a Hashira someday, he might acknowledge me? Father wasn't always like this. In fact, he was once a Hashira himself. He was full of passion. And then one day, he quit being a swordsman. Just like that. The man who raised us both with such enthusiasm. Why? There's no use in dwelling on this now. Senjuro has been through even worse. Our mother died when he was too young to even remember her. And the anguish fathers him. To be honest, he wasn't happy. He said it meant nothing. Even so, my passion cannot be extinguished. The flame in my heart will never die out. I'll never lose faith. Listen, Senjuro. Keep this firmly in mind. You have an older brother. A brother who believes in you. Whatever path you take, you're going to become a fine man. Just keep that burning passion inside your heart. Let's show the world what we've got. We've got to keep on living. No matter how lonely it gets. I found it. Even though I can see further, I can't move beyond this. Everyone has a subconscious realm outside their dreams. In that realm, there is a spiritual core. If that core is destroyed, the dreamer becomes an empty shell. I need to hurry and destroy his spiritual core so I can have a happy dream too! Is his subconscious realm? It's burning hot. There it is! The spiritual core! I've never seen a red one before. But spiritual cores are fragile. They can be shattered like delicate glasswork. You're tired today, Tanjiro. Don't push yourself too hard. Please, take the day off and rest. You're overreacting. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. I think I just had a really bad dream. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Come on, Tanjiro! Let's play! <laughs> Where's Nezuko? She went up the mountain to go pick vegetables. Huh? In broad daylight? Is... is that bad? Uh... well, I... guess not. You're so weird. Tanjiro, could you help me out? Go get the bath ready while I prepare for our next meal. Sure, I'll get right on it. I'm coming too! Huh? If you're going, I'm going! I 
gotta make sure you don't make a mess of it. Oh, come on! Now then... <sighs> Huh? It's gone. What was that? I must be tired. What's wrong, Tanjiro? Oh, it's nothing. Let's go grab some water from the river. Okay! I'll go get the water. Okay! Wake up! Wake up! Huh? Nezuko sent! Wake up! We're under attack! It's a dream! It's all a dream! Wake up and fight! You have to! That's right! I'm on the train! Sorry. Tanjiro! If the demon who's showing me this dream is nearby, I have to hurry and defeat them! Tanjiro! Where are you going? I picked lots of vegetables from the mountain. Oh, Tanjiro! What are you doing here? Weren't you getting water? What's the matter, dear? And why are you dressed like that? I wish... I wish I could stay here forever. I want to turn around and go back. Like how it should have been from the very beginning. If things hadn't gone wrong, you'd all be alive. Nezuko would be standing in the sunlight under the clear blue sky. That's how it was. How it should be. But it's too late now. I can never go back. Tanjiro! Please don't leave us behind! <laughs> Tanjiro! anymore. I promise, I'll always be thinking of you. I'll be thinking of you all. Tanjiro! There's so many things I have to thank you for, and things to apologize for. Tanjiro! I'll never forget you. No matter what, you will always be in my heart. So please, forgive me. I beg you! I need to hurry and break his spiritual core.
How is it this beautiful? It's like it stretches on forever. And feels so... warm. I don't see the demon, but I can smell them, just barely. What's happening, though? It's like there's a film over everything. A faint demonic scent is all around. I can't pinpoint its location. Where is it? Where? It has to be somewhere! Tanjiro, take up your sword. What you must cut is within your reach. What I must cut is within my reach? So to wake up, does that mean? I think I understand. But what if I'm wrong? If what happens here has an effect out there, it'll be over. Don't hesitate! Do it! You have to! My death will put an end to this dream. In other words, what I have to slash is... my very own neck! tell it's the same one. So we were put to sleep when these were punched. A demon must be behind it. What a faint scent for such a powerful blood demon art. <laughs> Rengoku! Sanitsu! Hinosuke! They're tied to the others with rope. Who are these people? For some reason... I have a feeling I shouldn't sever this rope with my Nichirin sword. Nezuko, listen! Can you burn the other ropes? Uh -huh. Hmm? Was the dream interrupted? Did they fail their mission? No matter. They're nothing but pawns anyway. They're buying me time, and that's good enough. Is this girl under the control of a demon? Now that you people are here, we won't get any happy dreams! <laughs> what are you doing? Get off your ass and help us out! I don't care if you have tuberculosis. If you don't do your job, I'll go tell him. And then he won't give you any more dreams! Was he connected to my dream? She said he has tuberculosis. How awful. What a cruel demon. Taking advantage of them like this. To think I was willing to inflict pain on others, if it meant I could escape my own illness. But inside his dream, inside his soul, it was so warm. I'm sorry. I have no choice but to fight back. You just wanted a happy dream, didn't you? I understand. I... wanted that as well. Are you alright? I am now. <laughs> Be careful. Thanks! It's the demon. 
The scent is overwhelming, even through all this wind. If the wind is carrying his scent down here, does that mean he's in the first car? Nezuko, you wait here. Go wake everyone up. Good morning. What a shame. You could have stayed asleep forever. So it's him! Did I not give you a dream tailored to your every desire? If I had so wished it, it could have been one where your family was being slaughtered. Would you prefer a dream where your dear father comes back to life? Intruding on one soul is something I won't allow! You won't get away with this! That's my family! Don't you ever insult their memory! That was too easy. Could this be a dream too? I'm starting to understand why the Master called for your death alongside the Hashiras. Yes, it's quite clear now. It's the nature of your existence. You're like a blistering sore on one's heel. He's not dead? What a lovely expression. How I've longed to see this. <laughs> Wondering why I'm still alive, even after you decapitated me? I'm in a good mood, so I'll let you in on a little secret. Don't worry. It's so simple a child could understand. <laughs> That is no longer my true self. The same can be said about what's before you. It may look like my head, but that is not the case. While you were sleeping like a helpless baby, I fused my being with this train. Every inch of it has become my blood, my flesh, right down to my bones. <laughs> That look in your eyes, you're starting to understand. For you see, more than 200 passengers, or shall I say, hostages, will serve as nutrients to strengthen my own body. Say, do you think you can protect them all by yourself? There's so much tasty human flesh packed in here, from stem to stern. How long can you stave off my hunger? <laughs> and Goku, Zenitsu, Inosuke! I really need your help! Please wake up, I'm begging you! Nezuko! I'm trusting you to look after the other passengers! <laughs> Explosive awakening! Now get ready for a bull rush! Watch out! Cause the great Lord Inosuke is coming through! Inosuke! This train isn't safe! We need to protect the sleeping passengers! The whole train is turned into a demon! Do you hear me? It's a giant demon! What do you know? I was right all along. That's the killer instinct of a true leader. I'm gonna save every last one of them. Bow down to me. Your savior, the great Inosuke, is he. Thunder breathing, first form. Thunderclap and flash, sixfold. Nezuko, I will protect you. I'll protect. No matter how many I kill, more of them keep popping up. What was that? A demon attack? Young Komodo! Ren Goku! I was quite thorough with my strikes on the way here. So it should take the demon a while to recuperate. But there's still no time to waste. This train has eight cars. I will protect the rear five. 
The other three will be handled by your sister and that boy in yellow. During all this, you will go with the boar-headed lad and search for the demon's head. Its head? But sir, how can we... Kill something without a head? It's still a demon. It has to have one. I will search for it as well. I hope you're fired up! <sighs> it's like he just disappeared. Is that what made the train shake earlier? His tactical mind is just as quick too. Handling five cars? Uh, this is no time to get distracted. I have to get a move on. The demon's scent is getting stronger by the moment. Let's go! Inosuke! Where are you? Shut up or I'll end you! That's where you were. Inosuke, keep an eye on the... You don't have to tell me! Besides, using my awesome seven form, I've already found what it is we're looking for! The Beast Lord's weak spot! You found it? So it is up front then! Sure is! And that place creeps me out even more! Alright, let's do this! Borosh! What the hell's going on here? This seems pretty suspicious. <laughs> Damn it! It's not letting us get close! Sorry, that's not happening. I won't let you behead me. Both of you are going to sleep here. It'll be a deep, long slumber. <laughs> Okay, now's our chance! Inosuke! The demon's neck is under here! Father, please guide my blade! My chance to sever the bone is now! Nokami Kagura! Clear blue sky! Okay? Santoro! Are you alright? Inosuke? That damn demon had some pretty cushy meat! Lucky for us! I don't think I can move now. Can you go help the others? For me? Fine! But only cause you asked! You are my minion! It's the least I can do as a leader! <sighs> It's almost dawn. I've got to get my breathing under control. I have to help the injured. Nezuko. Zenitsu. Rengoku. I'm sure the three of them are safe. I just have to believe. My body's breaking down. I can't regenerate. Have I lost? Am I going to die? Me? Ridiculous. Absurd. There was so much more to do. I couldn't devour a single human. My plan to fuse with the train and eat everyone was a complete failure. And now, look what I've been reduced to after all the preparations I had taken. It was him. This is all his fault. Even with all the human hostages I had in my possession, I still wasn't able to get the upper hand. 
Is this the power of a Hashira? Have I truly lost? Is this the end? <laughs> what a terrible, wretched nightmare this is! Am I no different from the lesser demons who get themselves killed? The upper ranks of our kind have stayed the same for hundreds of years. Even Hashira with high body counts have fallen by their hands. It's not fair. If only I could turn back time. Then I could undo this awful, horrible night. You've mastered total concentration constant. That's quite impressive. Rengoku. You're one step closer to being a Hashira. That's one step out of 10,000, mind you. I'll do my best. Mastering your breathing will open many doors for you. Now it won't solve everything, but it will help. You will continue to grow stronger. Thank you. As for the others... There are many who are injured, but they're safe for the time being. Good work! Thank you. So don't strain yourself and... He's upper rank three? What's he doing here? Nice sword. He regenerates quickly. With such fearsome presence, this is the strength of an upper rank demon. You're strong. A Hashira, huh? I can see you're a seasoned fighter on the verge of martial perfection. Your name? I'm the Flame Hashira, Chiojiro Rengoku. I am Akaza, Chiojiro. Let me tell you why you'll never take the final step towards perfection. It's because you're human, destined to grow old, destined to die. Become a demon, Chiojiro. Doing so would allow you to better yourself for another hundred, even two hundred years. Growing old and passing away gives meaning and beauty to human life. It's precisely because we age and die that our lives are so precious and honorable. You see, true strength does not just refer to the physical body. This boy is not weak. Don't insult him. Let me be clear. The two of us will never see eye to eye. No matter what twisted reasons you give, I'll never yield! I see. I guess I'll just have to kill you then. I'll inflict as much damage as I can in an instant! Flame breathing! Esoteric art! My! What an indomitable force of will! I give you my praise! Ninth form! Rangoku! Technique development! Destructive death!
killed Jiro. I don't have much time left. But I feel so blessed to have been your mother. What? He can still swing his sword? Mother, it is I who is blessed to have been your son. He stopped it? What unbelievable strength! Even after I've skewered his body with my arm! Oh, oh, damn it! The sun will rise soon! I have to kill him and make my escape! Oh, oh, why can't I pull my arm out? I won't let you escape! I have to slice that demon's head off! And fast! The sun is rising! I have to get away! Let go of me! Let go of me! I'm not letting go! Not until I cut off your head! Let go! He knows gay lesson to me! If we don't help him now, it'll be too late! These breathing first thing! Tears! To find shelter from the sunlight! I'm not done with you, coward! Turn and face me! What the hell is he babbling about? Doesn't this kid have a brain? I'm not running from him! I'm running from the sun! And besides, this fight's already over! With a wound like that, he'll die before long! The Demon Slayer Corps is always fighting in the dead of night! Where you have the advantage! But we're flesh and blood humans! We don't heal so easily! When we lose a limb, it's gone for good! Don't run away, you bastard! You're a coward! A coward! And Goku is stronger than you'll ever hope to be! Much stronger! You didn't win against him! He kept everyone safe! He fought to the very end so no one would die! You're the one who lost! When Goku is the true victor! Don't work yourself up like that. Those wounds are not trivial. Your death, young Kamado, would truly spell my defeat. Come here, lad. Let us speak one last time. Very soon, I'll be dead. Before that happens, I need you to hear me out. I have a younger brother named Senjuro. Please tell him to follow his heart and walk down the path he feels is right. And tell my father that I want him to look after himself. And lastly, young Kamado, I want you to know that I believe in your sister. I accept her as part of our ranks. I saw her. She shed her own blood to save the people in that train. Anyone who risks their life to protect humans is a member of the Demon Slayer Corps, no matter what others may think. Hold your head high when you feel weak or unworthy. Set your heart ablaze. Grit your teeth. And face forward. 
You may feel like breaking down, but the flow of time waits for no one. It will patiently stand by as you grieve. Don't let my death trample your spirit. It's my duty as a Hashira to protect you all. The young buds must be allowed to bloom. Any other Hashira would have done the same. Young Komodo, war-headed lad, boy in yellow, you must continue to grow. Someday, you'll become Hashira and serve as pillars of the Demon Slayer Corps. I'm sure of it. I believe in each and every one of you. Mother, was I successful in my duties? Did I use my gifts wisely? You did splendidly. When the train went off the rails, Rengoku used a bunch of his techniques. That must be how we avoided suffering any casualties. It must be. I can't believe he's gone. Was it really an upper-ranked demon? Yeah. Why would something like that come here? It's something that strong. I don't get it. Yeah. So frustrated. As soon as I managed to break through one wall, I hit an even higher, thicker wall. And all the while, I hear the sounds of my heroes fighting just beyond it. But I can't make it over and join them. If I'm still here, fumbling around in the dark, how can I do this? Is it even possible for me to become someone like him? <laughs> Stop blubbering like a little baby! This can I or can't I talk is really pissing me off! He already said he believes in you! So all you gotta do is figure out how to get there! Everything that dies returns to the earth! Crying won't bring any of them back! Remember what Bug Eye said to you! No matter how pathetic you feel, you just gotta keep on living! But you're crying too. I can see the tears coming out of your mask. I'm not crying! Come on! Let's go train our asses off! Not even a single one of those 200 passengers lost their lives? Splendid job indeed. He was a remarkable young man. I feel no sadness. My life will soon reach its end as well. I'll see Kyojiro and the others again in the world beyond. Commodore. Young, Young Commodore. Commodore. Okay. 
No one's here. I'm not picking up any of their scents. Am I still stuck in that demon's dream? But... I haven't lost any memories this time. What is this? I'm not sensing any malicious intent. It's like someone's calling out to me. <gasps> what the? This is Demon Slayer HQ. I was just in the hospital. Huh? The door's gone. And my clothes. What's going on? Crazy things are happening, but I don't feel scared at all. In fact... <sighs> Rengoku! Rengoku! Why? Incredible. What a powerful fighting stance. Just from this, I can already tell how formidable he is. I see. He's telling me to come at him with everything I have. I accept your challenge! Flame breathing, esoteric art, ninth form. He no kami kagura. Everything I could. Everything. And yet all I could do was knock his sword away. <sighs> Rengoku is ridiculously strong. <sighs> Thank you, sir. This is... A dream. It was just... a dream. All of it? Nezuko. I've... lost a lot of people I cared about. My family. Fellow demon slayers. The demons have taken so much away. But... I still have people who 
who matter to me. I still have bonds. I want to protect. That's why I'll continue wielding my sword. For as long as I have those bonds. As long as the torches I carry keep lighting my way. To prevent anyone else from suffering this sadness. I'll grit my teeth. Face forward. And set my heart ablaze. Let's go! No matter what happens, I'll keep pressing on.
Illuminated by firelight, a spiritual dance begins. Within the blaze burns a courage tempered by battle. In this conflagration, bonds between warriors are forged. They crystallize together into the pillars of today. Pillars with the strength to slay demons. And so... This is how the torch is passed. Kindling the spirits of those who came before. As warriors hone their battle-worn blades. They learn what it means to be... A demon slayer.